157 words per minute, there we go, world record. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are gonna be comparing six of the most popular mechanical and membrane keyboards to try and help figure out what is the absolute best keyboard for maximizing our typing speed. At the moment, my personal record is 156 words per minute. And so for each of these keyboards, I'm gonna do three typing tests to try and beat that record. And then I'm gonna be rating them in terms of cost, in terms of aesthetics, and in terms of the typing experience overall. And I'm gonna share with you some of my top tips for how you can type insanely fast as well along the way. So grab a cup of tea if that's what you're into and let's start with keyboard number one. All right, so our very first contender is the IQ Unix L80 wireless mechanical keyboard. They've actually sent me eight of these for review. Each of them has different mechanical keyboard switches. Now, mechanical keyboards are a bit weird because they're more expensive than normal keyboards generally. And it's because the individual keys have a different type of switch inside them, which means the feel of typing on different types of mechanical keyboards depends on what switch they've got inside them. This one that I'm testing now has the gator turn red switch in it. It doesn't really matter what that means. I'm gonna do a more in-depth switch testing review at some point. And in terms of aesthetics, here's what it looks like. It's kind of nice. Um, it's quite chunky. It's like, it doesn't have the numpad. It's like a very solid build, like, it's like a metal, metal and plastic and it feels kind of good. Now let's hop into the typing test and see what it's actually like to type in the Anki Unix L80. One hundred and thirty-nine. Oh, not very good. Accuracy ninety-five percent. One hundred and thirty-three. Accuracy ninety-five. All right. Forty, accuracy ninety six. All right. Yeah, the the feeling of these is definitely like much. It, it's much harder to press the keys than it is on the membrane keyboards, which is probably why like it takes more force and it means I'm typing slower on this mechanical keyboard. And so this one gives me an average typing speed of one hundred and thirty seven words per minute. This is my lowest typing speed. I think it's not particularly high, but. It is actually very, very satisfying typing on this particular keyboard. And so when I'm doing something like writing my book, this is the keyboard that I tend to default to. Uh, I'll put an affiliate link in the video description if you, if you want to check it out. I think that has a bit of a discount on it if you want to get one of these. They're a little bit expensive. But yeah, this is a pretty solid keyboard, nice to type on, but not the most productive keyboard out there. And that brings us to tip number one of how to type insanely fast, which is, I call, I call it the minimal movement principle. Now this is something that musicians use a lot, like people who are really pro, pro at piano or at guitar. What they try and do is that when they're playing their scales and things, they try and move their fingers as little as possible. Like an amateur guitarist will be doing stuff like this. An amateur pianist will be like hitting the keys with this whole like hands, but the pros will be typing or mo moving as little as possible. And it's sort of the same thing with keyboards. This is partly why it is slower typing on a mechanical keyboard, at least for me, because my fingers end up moving quite a lot to be able to hit the keys. And that is satisfying, but it leads to slowness. So when you're typing, try and move your fingers as little as possible to hit the keys. And that's why membrane keyboards generally tend to be faster, at least for me. All right, next we have the Keychron K2 wireless mechanical keyboard. Now the Keychron keyboards are kind of similar to the IQ Unix ones. I'm not too much a fan of their design. It's a little bit a bit too black and red for my liking. If you're MKBHD, you'll probably like this. If you like this aesthetic, then it's great. But the really good thing about the Keychron series is that they're a lot cheaper than the IQ Unix and other similar mechanical keyboards. The K2, for example, is about $69, whereas the IQ Unix L80 is about $250. This is like 25% of the price. It is a bit more of a plasticky, plasticky build quality, but really, if you're looking to get a very good budget mechanical keyboard, the Keychron series is absolutely fantastic. Let's now go on to the typing speed test. 144 words per minute, mm, 96% accuracy, not bad. Making quite a few mistakes, let's try again. 143, 95% accuracy. 136, 91%, oh, not very good at all. The typing does feel very satisfying, even though I'm slower and I make more mistakes. I think if I were writing something like a long piece of work, I actually would want to use this keyboard to type on because even if I'm typing slower, it does kind of feel quite nice. So solid aesthetics. I don't have to press overly hard compared to the IQ Unix L80, um, but design-wise, it's just not as nice. I just don't really like the colors. So I don't know, we'll see. 
It's all a matter of trade-offs, isn't it? So in my three tests with the Keychron, I averaged 141 words per minute, a little bit faster than the IKEA Unix LAT. Uh, and so that is the one that I'm going to be using for most of my typing. But if you're in the market for something budget, the Keychron is absolutely fantastic. And now tip number two for typing insanely fast is you want to learn the keyboard shortcuts for deleting entire words. So for example, on a Mac, if you use command and backspace, that deletes a whole line. If you use alt and backspace, that deletes a single word. I think on Windows, it's like control and backspace or control shift backspace. But basically, anytime you find yourself hitting the backspace key multiple times, there is a quicker way of doing it. And I made a video about this a few months ago and loads of people have messaged me saying, oh my God, that single keyboard shortcut tip has like, you know, improved my typing speed by like 20%. So yeah, come on backspace or backspace or control if you're on Windows. All right, let's do a non-mechanical keyboard now. Now this is the Logitech MX keys, which is widely considered the most productive keyboard on the market. Uh, we'll find out in a moment if that's true. And this is nice because it pairs with the Logitech MX Master 3, which is genuinely one of the best mice on the market. Again, wireless Bluetooth keyboard. And in each of these keys, it's got a little uh, resting place for your fingers. So the keys are a little bit like, whatever that means, like, Riveted, divoted, something like that. Design wise, honestly, I'm not a massive fan of it. Like I don't really like the black space gray design aesthetic. I know some people are super into this sort of stuff, but I much prefer it when I have keyboards that are white and colorful because that's just the kind of vibe I like. But production value, build quality, it's all very, very solid indeed. And I know a lot of people that really swear by this keyboard. So let's see what the typing test actually shows. One hundred and thirty nine. 96% accuracy. 137. Right, 143. And broadly, faster typing speed than on the mechanical keyboards, I think. And it's it's more similar to the Apple keyboards than it is to the mechanical keyboards, but the, the feeling of the keys on this like, I really don't like this. I know a lot of people swear by the MX keys, and I really like the MX Master Mouse, which is paired with this, but I, I just don't really like the typing experience. This would rank at basically at the bottom of my list of like pleasurable typing experiences, because it, it doesn't quite have the feel of a mechanical keyboard, but the keys are still heavier, or they feel heavier to press than the Apple Magic Keyboard does. And so that plus the weird kind of design that I'm not a fan of means this keyboard does sadly not get my recommendation. Your mileage may well vary. And on this keyboard, I have an average typing speed of 140 words per minute. It's, that's all right. It, it, it kind of, it's a bit weird, right? Because it's, it's not as nice in terms of typing experience as a mechanical keyboard even though it feels just as hard to press the keys. So overall, not really a huge fan of the MX keys, but hey, if it floats your boat, you'll probably enjoy it. Next, we have another one of my favorite keyboards of all time. This is the IQ Unix F96. This is a keyboard that they sent, they sent me like two years ago that I've been using for ages, which is why it's absolutely filthy. This one has the cherry blue switches, which have a, a very specific kind of look and feel, but I do really like the aesthetic of this one. Very good build quality, all metal. It's like very, very hefty, very beefy. The issue is this is a very expensive keyboard. I think it's 250 or $300. Do I think it's worth it? Well, I don't know. I'll put a video up there where I've got my full review of it. I really like it, but then I'm also the sort of person that would spend 300 quid on a keyboard and not really worry about it too much. But if you want it, there will be a link in the video description, which is an affiliate link that has a bit of a discount applied. So you might want to get this if you like. But to be honest, the main thing I like about it is the color scheme. Like I just love the blue and coral and white. It just goes really nicely with my aesthetic overall. I think it even sort of matches my hoodie. But now let's move on to the typing test to see how productive this keyboard actually is. 144, not bad. 136, oh, 136, terrible. So bad. 95% accuracy. Ugh. Start, starting to get repetitive strain injury. 141. Right, 141 words per minute. Mm. So I've been using this keyboard a very long time. These are the cherry blue switches, so they sound they sound quite clicky. Um, typing speed, nowhere near as fast as it is on, on some of the other membrane keyboards, but it is quite a nice feeling. I'm not sure how I feel about the cherry blue switches though. I don't think they are my favorites. I'll be trying out some more mechanical key switches to see which ones I prefer. And so overall average typing speed of 140 words per minute. Mm, that's not bad. Mostly I like this keyboard for the aesthetic and the feel of the typing on it rather than because it makes me super, super, super fast at typing. And because I like a bit of writing in my life, I've been using this one for the last two years, but now I've changed my kind of daily driver to the IQ Unix LAT. There's not much to choose between them. They both feel pretty good to write on. In a way, I sort of prefer the design of this one, but it's it's got the numpad in it. I don't really like that. 
The IQ Unix L80 is a little bit chunky, but it, they both have a broadly similar writing typing experience overall. And that brings us to tip number three for typing insanely fast, which is don't use your mouse. So normally we think of our mouse as being a kind of navigation device. We kind of use our mouse to go around a computer with our arrow. But if you really want to maximize your productivity on a computer, basically the idea is we want to be throwing away our mouse and instead using our keyboard for navigation as well. That means learning keyboard shortcuts and using apps like Alfred and the Windows logo key to open up windows and files and apps. And for me, anytime I'm using a computer and I find myself using the mouse, I always think, okay, is there a quicker way of using the keyboard for this? And to be honest, I don't spend much more time on a computer on a keyboard than a lot of other people do but I think my typing speed is generally quite fast because I minimize my use of the mouse and maximize my use of the keyboard. Next, we have our penultimate keyboard, and this is the Razer Pro Type. This is Razer's, like Razer is usually a gaming brand, but this is their productivity series of keyboards, which is a mechanical keyboard that has Razer special switches in it. Design-wise, it is quite nice. I love the fact that it's white. I love the fact that the LED lights on it don't go different colors and they're just white. So it looks really cool. A very, very high build quality. I think this was around $150 to $200. So let's move on to the typing test and see what this one is really like. Right, 141, accuracy 95. Oh, 133. 140. I quite like this keyboard in terms of the aesthetics, but I don't really like the keyboard in terms of typing experience. I think Razer are using their own mechanical switches here, and it's just not as nice as the IQ Unix ones, or it's just not as nice as the Keychron. It's just like, it, it sort of feels very much like an old, very old school IBM keyboard that we used to use in like school back in the day. Um, and like, if you care about that throwback, then it's fine, but otherwise, yeah, the keys are quite heavy to press. I'm not really a huge fan of this typing experience, although I really do like the Razer white mouse. And now tip number four for typing insanely fast is to just practice uh, the website that I've been using for all the typing tests all day today and that I've been using since the age of about 13. It's 10 fast fingers. They have a good typing test. It uses normal English words, so you can just type the most common words in the English language. And initially I started out when I was, I think 13 and I discovered it. I was around about 80 words per minute. And over time, I've come close to doubling that typing speed. But yeah, the more practice you do, the faster your typing is gonna get overall in the long run. And finally, we come to the final keyboard in our productivity challenge, which is the Apple Magic Keyboard. Design-wise, it's an Apple keyboard. It's very light, it's very nice. It's like, connects via Bluetooth, it charges via lightning. It's a bit annoying that it charges via lightning, but then so does my iPhone, so that's fine. And it's just a very, very, very solid keyboard all around. So let's go to the typing test first, and then I'll share my thoughts about this. Ooh, 155 words per minute. Not bad. One hundred and fifty seven words per minute. There we go. World record. Hundred and fifty three words per minute. Not bad. All right. Very, very solid. To be honest, whichever keyboards I end up trying, it's always this little Apple Magic keyboard that I end up end up going back to. Maybe it's because I'm I'm more familiar with it because I've been using it for such a long time. But it's it's quiet. I can type on Zoom calls. I can take notes without without worrying about the sound. It's like really lightweight. I can carry it around if I ever need to go anywhere. And it's a keyboard where I get a ridiculously fast typing speed without making too many mistakes. So there's just something really, really beautifully nice about the Apple Magic keyboard. Um, Honestly, I think it's it's really hard to find a keyboard that is actually better than this one. So my average typing speed on this was 155 words per minute, and I actually beat my personal record with 157 words per minute. So that's now my new record typing speed. And in fact, this was the very first one that I tested today. So I repeated the test again, like three hours later after testing all of the other keyboards, just to see what difference it would make to my typing speed. And yeah, after three hours of testing, my average typing speed did fall because my fingers were really fatigued, but this got still around about 144 words per minute. And overall, what I realized is that if I care about typing fast, which I do, there is really nothing I've ever found that beats the Apple Magic Keyboard. It's just so simple, it's so reasonably priced, it's so great. I wish I had an affiliate deal with Apple, but I just don't because this is just such a fantastic keyboard that like my setup moving forward, and in fact, my setup for the last few months has been to have both the IQ Unix L80 and the Apple Magic Keyboard on my desk at all times. Now, when I need to do writing for my book, where I want a nicer kind of typing experience, I like the feel of the mechanical keys. I use the IQ Unix L80, link in the video description. But 
If I want to do most other things on a computer, if it's nighttime or early in the morning and I don't want to wake up my housemate, if I'm on a Zoom call and I want to take notes, the experience of typing on the Apple Magic Keyboard is so nice and so chill and so relaxing in a way that I really don't like using the mechanical keyboard because of the clackertiness. So maybe it's a little bit excessive having two keyboards on my desk at all times, but I don't know. I think it's like genuinely quite nice and I'm the sort of person who, who appreciates the the different uh, use cases for the Alpha Magic Keyboard and the RQ Unix L80. And that brings us to the final tip for typing insanely fast, which is you should watch my video over there if you haven't already. It's called How to Type Really Fast 156 Words Per Minute, where I give you eight more tips that I found really helpful for being a productivity grease monkey when it comes to my typing speed. So thank you so much for watching. Do drop a like on the video if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.